Hey everyone, thanks for joining another episode of Total Ramblings. I hope you people are groovy. It's nine minutes past eight on Friday, the 5th of July, 2024. Um, I'm just driving back from dropping Alice off at work because she missed her bus. So she asked if I could take her to work, which is fine. But uh, I was already awake because I was watching the news. Obviously, an absolutely massive, massive, massive Labour majority. And I believe the Conservative Party, which I believe is the oldest political party in the world, or possibly the most successful, maybe even both, has had its worst result in history. Now, although I voted Labour, I'm not particularly triumphant about their win because, to be honest with you, I think all all politicians are probably as bad as each other at the moment, to be honest with you. All self-serving. I mean, I do hope we see something change. But, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm not a die-hard Labour supporter. I am genuinely a floating voter. I voted on that one issue only, which was defence. Took a punt, really. But I'm generally quite depressed about the state of the world, if I'm honest with you. So I'm not triumphant. I'm just nervous. I think I'd have been nervous no matter who won. So there you go. The only unfortunate thing is that that Farage got a seat, finally. I don't like that man. Reform is basically the Nazi party, as far as I'm concerned. So, anyway, um, it's June. No, it's July, sorry. And it's raining, absolutely tipping it down. And I'll tell you why it's tipping it down, and you can blame me for this, is because my desk is arriving today between 11 and 2, And I had planned this evening to essentially use my garden as a storage facility for furniture. I was going to, you know, put the chairs out there, the dining room chairs out there, whilst I move the dining room table and all the Lego on it and install the desk. So, of course, now it's raining, so I can't do that because everything will get destroyed. So you can blame me for that. You can blame me for my ambitions for wanting to actually do something this evening. So uh, I'm very sorry about that. Um, Sounds like an episode of What Can Andrew Be Blamed For Today? I also just heard the traditional siren, but I haven't seen the traditional blue flashing lights. It's uh, every time I leave the house, if I'm going into town, if I'm going to work, if I'm dropping Alice off, I am at some point pursued by an ambulance, a blue flashing light sirened ambulance. And I just heard the siren. It, it's there must be a hell of a lot of accidents or ill people around at the moment because it's every single day in the short journey that I'm taking, I'm getting pursued by an ambulance. Now, a lot of people were going to say, Andrew, you're just being paranoid. The whole world isn't out to get you. Well. I would be being paranoid if it wasn't actually happening. Because it is actually happening. Um, The weather does seem to respond to my plans. The traffic does appear to respond to where I'm going and I do get chased by an ambulance every day. Um, How is that paranoia when those are facts that happen? So, um, yeah, that's probably enough for me for the moment. I don't know what I'm going to do in this episode of Total Ramblings. I've got to go to work now, log on to my computer. Traditionally, Friday tends to get quite busy for meetings for me. Um, So that's what I should be doing today. And also hopefully accepting delivery of my desk. Uh, which I was originally told would take five days, and it's now taken two weeks. 
but that's just me being paranoid, right? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Hey, I've had a very busy evening. I have basically swapped the contents of the dining room and the office. So now the office is the dining room and the dining room is the office. <sighs> Here is my new office. I've just been out to get these mats from the range. Um, it's absolutely chucking it down today. Here is the dining room now. now the desk here, the old desk has got to go and all the stuff's got to be cleared off it, but I'm not doing that today, bit at a time. It was an absolute bitch to get this freaking table out into this room. It was absolute bitch to do that. Anyway, new desk. Um, I've got a monitor stand and my desk has memory settings and it can go up or down there we go that's the lowest setting um, I have it on setting 2 which is a little bit higher um, and I should be able now to do my work a bit easier. Uh, this light, which we call Fred, has unfortunately seems to have burnt out the bulb. Um, so I need to replace that. Um, Alexa, turn off office. But uh, yeah, as you can see, quite nice. Uh, I put one of my Dell monitors here screwed it in then realized oh, doesn't have an HDMI port so I used my Alienware one which is bigger anyway and blacker and newer and probably more expensive which is fine so uh, we're back to dual screen at least used to have three screens on my computer I could have three screens but uh, I decided not to worry about it and as you can see it's a thoroughly miserable day outside but I am in here in the dry. I'm going to go and have a shower now because I'm very, very hot and sweaty. I'm sure you wanted to hear that. Um, hmm, that's what I'm going to go and do right now. So it's a little bit later now. And colour me confused. Um... I'm getting all these very grumpy texts from Liz saying that this one day is going to have to be changed back to a dining room and she doesn't like the fact that I've put this picture up here and and I'm kind of like is this my office or not I'll be honest with you I've I've busted my ass this afternoon to swap these two rooms over and I'm just getting grief for it now. Um, sometimes I do wonder why I bother. Because it seems I'm in a no-win scenario. I've done exactly what I was asked to do. Exactly. And now I'm getting my balls busted because I've put a picture on the wall. And... I've turned it into my office, which the whole point was it was my office for work. <sighs> Just in a no-win scenario, basically. Well, I mean, if she wants it changed back, then she's going to have to do it because I'm not doing it again. Dragging that table out on my own was bloody hard work. Again, I've done exactly what I was asked to do. I think it's time for another episode of What Can Andrew Be Blamed For Today? Because it feels like one of those days.
yeah, it's uh, it's time for me to come clean about this one. I'm afraid. Um, I am I am actually responsible for the death of Elvis Presley. Um, yes, his death did occur in my lifetime, and yes, I will be honest, I did cause his death. Um, obviously, I mean, I was only six years old at the time, but it was me. Um, because I am an omnipotent being and I do have these amazing powers that apparently mean I am the cause of everything. Um, this one was a little bit more insidious on my part though. Um, you see, I was actually secretly supplying burgers and hot dogs to Elvis Presley for the last, uh, seven years until his death. So yes, even before I was born, in fact, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was actually, um, secretly supplying hot dogs and burgers um i used to hang around the back of graceland and i would basically i'd shove them through the gaps in the railings and um elvis would be would be on the other side of the railings and he'd be eagerly taking the hot dogs and the burgers from me and and wolfing them down um sometimes even before i'd cooked them uh that's how hungry he was um that's how sort of you know we obviously we know he he died quite fat and bloated um drugs have been blamed for his death I, I, it was me it was me i was basically supplying burgers and hot dogs and being paid handsomely as well um occasionally um i security would come and sort of chase me away um, there was uh, one occasion where I actually managed to get into Graceland and I was basically dropping burgers down Elvis's chimney uh, into the jungle room. And he was actually <clears throat> just laying there at the bottom of the chimney with his mouth open, eating as many burgers as I could drop. I actually ran out. I had to go and get some more from a local Walmart. Um, and then, you know, it was no surprise to me when he dropped dead on the toilet. Um, because I think in the two days before his death, <clears throat> I had basically almost force fed him about 120 different burgers and hot dogs. Um, <clears throat> some of them just like coated in mustard and ketchup just so that they would slide down his throat easier. Um, and yeah, so um, <clears throat> it was me. Um, <clears throat> I killed Elvis. Um, there you go.